close your eyes and watch your breath. And remind yourself that as you're meditating, it's a way of showing goodwill for yourself and goodwill for others. Goodwill for yourself is that you provide a place of rest inside, a place of solidity inside, from which you can then make much clearer choices in your life. It's not just it's that's a nice place to be, but it's a good place to be coming from as you're making decisions. And that way it spreads. It's a way of showing goodwill to others, too, as you act in a more skillful way, a more careful way. The people around you be less victims of your greed or aversion or delusion. So always try to meditate with an attitude of goodwill. And you're doing something good for yourself and for others, and it's a good example for yourself and others to remind yourself that you do have this potential inside that you can tap into whenever you want. And maybe people around you pick up on your example. It's in this way that the goodness taught by the Buddha is the goodness that spreads around. It's not like the goodness of, say, material gain or status, where one person gains, somebody else has to lose. With this, everybody gains. All the practices that the Buddha said are related to merit, which it's not a very good translation. It might be better translated simply as goodness, virtue, generosity, developing goodwill. And with all of these, everybody gains. So when you're deciding how to look for happiness in your life, remember that, that there is a kind of happiness where everybody gains. And it's a much more secure kind of happiness as a result. If your happiness depends on the suffering or the loss of other people, they're not going to be happy for you. They might do what they can to end your happiness. But if other people are benefiting from your happiness, they'll encourage you to keep on. So bring an attitude of goodwill every day to your meditation. Because that's what it is. It's, in that, it's a way of showing goodwill. The more goodwill you bring to it, the happier you'll be.